So you're studying for the SAT Math Level 2 subject test. You've come to the right place. I'm Dan from WeWillTeachYouMath.com. Guys, when you're using these videos to study, make sure you pause the video at the beginning when the problem first comes on the screen and try it on your own. Most of your practice should be done this way, actively and independently. Then, if after you try the problem on your own, you still find it tricky, that's when you watch the video explanation. In fact, you can use any resources that you have available to you to try to figure it out so that the next time a similar problem comes your way, you'll be ready. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. 26. The height of a cone is equal to the radius of its base. The radius of a sphere is equal to the radius of the base of the cone. The radius of the volume, the ratio of the volume of the cone to the volume of the sphere is what? Okay, so let's draw. We have the height of a cone is equal to the radius of its base. So here's a cone. And the cone's base has a radius r. So I'll put that down here. So that's the radius r. And then it has a height. And the height is also r. Then you have a sphere. That is a terrible sphere, but we're going to go with it and it has radius r. So the volume of a cone, the volume, the ratio of the volume of the cone to the volume of the sphere, volume of cone compared to the volume of the sphere is equal to what? Well in general the volume of a cone, I'll put it up here, is one-third pi r squared, which is the area of a circle, right? That's the area of the base right? It's one-third times pi r squared times the height, h. But in this case, the height is r. The height is the same as the radius of the circular base. So it becomes one-third pi r squared times r, which is pi r cubed. So that's a special situation for this cone because its height is the radius of the base. The volume of a sphere is given by 4 thirds pi r cubed. That's always true for a sphere. 4 thirds pi r cubed. And as a result, we can actually cancel a lot of this out. The division by 3 cancels out. The multiplication by pi cancels out because those are constants. And r cubed over r cubed actually cancels out because they're the same r. So all we're left with after all that is 1 over 4. So the ratio of the volume of this cone to that sphere is one-fourth. Hi, thanks for watching. If anything's still confusing or you need a little extra help, drop me an email, leave a comment, or give me a call. I answer every message. And if you want to check out more videos like this, visit wewillteachyoumath.com. See you in the next video.